says you can't have it all? Not Appalachian Wireless. We know what you want. Appalachian Wireless offers the hottest smartphones and unlimited data plans, all on the region's number one network. For more than a month, we have been reporting on the current financial struggles in the Pike County Fiscal Court. And Wednesday morning, the Kentucky Department for Local Government addressed those issues in a press conference, saying their office became involved in April after Pike County went more than a year without filing any quarterly reports. I came down to see if there was any uh, needed any assistance in uh, getting those filed uh, to find out if there was any impediment to that. By the beginning of June, none of those quarterly reports had been filed, which triggered a decision to lower, then revoke, Pike County's bond rating and led to the resignation of longtime county treasurer John DeBilliter. Well, at that point, uh, they started the uh, Herculean effort, as I mentioned before, uh, of going back over almost two fiscal years and uh, updating uh, these quarterly reports and reconciling bank statements. Two different task forces were formed, with one focusing on the 2017 fiscal year and the other on 2018. And everything was on schedule to get the county in compliance by the end of the day, Wednesday. In which case, DLG will be able to review their budget for next year and approve it tomorrow. And a special meeting is scheduled for Friday for the second reading of the budget and the approval. Once the budget is finalized and approved, the Pike County Fiscal Court can focus on steps that it needs to take to reestablish the county's bond rating. And DLG officials say things are finally moving in the right direction. This was a group effort. Everyone was on board. Uh, everyone wanted to do what was uh, humanly possible to, uh, to accomplish this, and it appears that, uh, that we have done that. Pike County Deputy Judge Executive Herbie Deskin says it's a goal of the current fiscal court to be able to get the county back on track before the new administration begins in January. That's our goal, and uh, to try to give the employees a raise and uh, so that this next uh, fiscal court can start off on an even budget. In Pikeville, I'm Shannon Deskins, EKB News.